Welcome back, everybody. Back with some more Distant Worlds 2. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to make the new ship. But I want to do it after I get the heavy... Do I even need to do heavy railgun threes? I guess I should. This other stuff is all for economy. Nah, I gotta let it go in this order. Because we need the economy to grow. So those multi roll ships can wait. But I did click the move order for the fleet. So they are heading over. And it looks like our Admiral's got some boarding assault. He's got repair rate. Hyper jump speed, which is great. And our general has no attack skills, so having the general with us isn't really going to help. But um, if we have a quick look at our colonies, we're doing quite well. I do need to make more of these. It's just, it's required. More troops everywhere. Can I just garrison you from here? Keep four guys at least there? Maybe more? How about you? I want to keep four as well. And we'll just uh, queue up a couple more. You're going to keep four as well. Just got to keep some guys. You got to keep four as well. I mean, why not? Why not keep four on every planet? It just seems to be the right thing to do. A little bit of defense, you know? This planet will keep five. This thing's built. You're almost done that. All right, so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and most importantly, use the link in the description for freecash.com. Using that link gets you three loot boxes that have up to $250 each in them. And doing surveys daily earns you free cash. That's what I do every day. I do a survey while I drink my coffee or, you know, do whatever. First thing in the morning. It's great. It's great. The despots have made peace. The despots have made peace. Let's, um... Our money's just jumping all over the darn place. I want to make sure we're growing full speed. We're going to get over here, essentially declare war on these guys, destroy their spaceport, because I'm a sneaky snake. Steel operations map. Good job, man. And all of the time, leveling up our spies as best we can. You. Your espionage is four. So we'll go back to these Acadians. I'll steal their galaxy map. Good job. This guy should finish off real soon. Gonna level him up a little bit. Although he's got Psyops and Sabotage. I mean, that's... It's not gonna help much. Did I do this? Intelligence mission success. I guess he's infiltrated them. Oh no, he just did it now. You... Stole the territory map. And you infiltrated. So, you did it. You got some espionage skill, I guess. So, let's keep you going. They have nothing to steal for that. Construction sabotage, they have none. I can't destroy a base. I can't incite a rebellion. Can I make them like us? Can I make them like us? Oh, interesting. Okay, do that. Sure. You're stealing the galaxy map. You are doing nothing. We're going to hit him again. Uh, can I incite a revolution? What does that give us? Portland AI again? Yeah, not concerned. Not concerned. Um, do I want to spend some money on this? I think I do. Yeah, 60,000, no problem. Let's get that done. Approved cruisers. Need battleships. Need battleships. Where's the battleships? Capital ships. Need construction research bonus. So that's why everybody went for these research skills. Yeah. Because if I do construction spec... That will get us extra bonus so we can do other things. Oh, skilled command is so good. Maintenance savings 15% from the 12. That's big. System governance is very good too. 
Enhanced slavery is good. We don't have a lot of slaves, though. Probably should get it. Or getting this boss garrow would be nice too. 11 years, that's a lot. That is a lot. Okay, we're gonna have to do construction spec. It's just gonna be required. I mean, save these eight. Unlimited trade unlocks even bigger trade bonus and colony income, which would be pretty good. But more weapons, I believe. Also, this might help a little bit. Do we have any planets? You know what? That's what we should look at. If we go to colonies, and I go for 10. Do I have anything? Yes, we do. Let's just zoom out a little. What do we have here? Yep. I can't do that one. I can do that one. Wait, where is this place? I can't do that. Yeah, we could do some outer colonies in this area if I can get positive numbers. That's no good. That probably won't be a good idea. Well, it's too low anyway. This one has... It's in enemy territory. Small spaceport complete. Great. Okay, that guy... He finished working. He finished working. Keep working. Keep working, my friend. Steal their operations map. Steal, steal, steal. See, we basically need these spies to do a lot of work for us. We're on our way to south. No reinforcements coming. This is, an, this is a Hail Mary. So basically, it's declare war. This is incite revolution. And this is hitting them too. Okay, so let's pause. Sabotage going up. Alright, if I uh, just have you steal the territory map, that'll increase your espionage. That's what I need. Espionage to go up. Your espionage is up to two. Uh, so we're just going to keep going. Keep it going. Let's do a galaxy map. There we go. Everyone's stealing something. That's what's required. Alright, so taking this world would give us basically double our size. It would be pretty good. Pretty darn good. We're almost at the Eagle's Nest. Yeah, one year to go. We'll have a guy in the Eagle's Nest. You're helping us with nothing in Silgies. You're on the planet. I need to get you off the planet, actually. So let's get you over to the guys that we might be in at war with, which I think is the council. Right? It's these guys. It is these dudes, which I believe is council. Yeah. That is indeed the council. So let's move you to Hakonish Council. Right here. Get on over there. You'll be there in four years. Okay. Acadian Tech. Acadian Tech. Alright, we stole some stuff. Wonderful. Let's steal some more stuff. You're at 20. Is this actually getting you any XP? I'm not sure. I think it is. I think it's getting you actually quite a lot of XP. Keep on stealing. Power stealing. Probably a full on exploit. But I'm okay with that. These guys, I don't think they know the ship is coming. I don't think they know. We have a lot of tanks coming too. Six armor, 23 infantry. I think they'll do it. They're gonna bomb I'm gonna bombard the planet first. Hoping that they don't have much. These are just troop transports. Yeah. Consortium declaring war on some mortalins. Not worried about that. Let's get some more tech going. Just a little bit. P 
peace between the day despotism and the Tekans. Wonderful. If you're not able to keep track, what's going on basically? Day despots here. We're at war with these guys. They made peace. Uh, these are the Mortalins that were just declared war by these guys. There's a second set of Mortalins here, but these guys are friends. So that's that's just how it goes. <laughs> All right. Um, Seventy-three ninety-one. You're eight espionage. This is working. This is working. You are gaining espionage skills. So continue with the stealing of all the things from the Acadians. Steal all the things. Why'd you drop to the bottom? I'm not sure. Your skills kind of suck, though. You have four espionage. We'll do uh, operations map. I think it's an espionage skill. Concealment's low, but whatever. And all these guys are going to steal stuff soon. 91, 79. Just got to check to make sure. The 79's a little risky. This was higher. And the good thing is, once this guy gets there, he's going to get a bunch of espionage skill as well. So that's what I want, kind of want to see. All right. Um, yeah, let's take a brief interlude to design that giant cruiser. I'm not using the bomber. Add new. Cruiser time. It's a light cruiser. It's nothing special. What else do we have? Fuel tankers. Not even using those. Escorts, more escorts, destroyers, bombers, interceptors. Yeah, we'll uh, auto-generate this and see what we get. First things first, we're going to do... Yeah, new new engagements. 750 strength. We already have a design with the Kiev name. Well, you're now a Kiev light cruiser. V1. You don't have that name. All right, let's see. So you have weapon range as a cruiser. And what are you using? Mega density fuel cells, great. Command center velocity shard. Do you have an ion shield, which I probably don't need? Let's take it off. Your job is not to velocity shard. Or <laughs> velocity shard. <laughs> oh, your job is not to go into ion areas. Okay, so what do you use for beam defense? Three beam defense. Ion cannon, a tractor beam. Get this tractor beam out of here. Two shields, three armor. I'd rather three shields, to be honest. A fighter bay? Hmm. We can still put more guns on this thing. Okay, first off, atomic devastator out. You out. Concussion missile out. Heavy rail guns. You are rocking as many heavy railguns as I can slam on you. Yeah. That's how you roll. Railgun power. Cost almost a thousand to run these things. Um, if I get rid of the star bay, I can put another shield on. We still have power. We're slow. Need better engines. Can I put one more engine on it? Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, you're a little bit faster. And basically it's um it's double a destroyer, but with a lot more PD. Where where is this gun? This is on the side. That's on the back. That's on the front. And then the big guns are probably right here. Front mounted heavy rail guns. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty gnarly. These are the sensors, these are the engines. That side's empty. So you have one, two forward facing lasers, one back. And then you got three shields, which means your shield is pretty high. Plenty of energy, plenty of reactor, little excess. Range is good. It says you have Bombard, but what are you bombarding with? I think you have zero Bombard. Because I don't think these can Bombard, right? Oh, they actually can. Okay. 
I'll take it. Shields are 864. Boarding defense 500. Countermeasures 32. So the question is, well, I guess the sensor array makes sense. Countermeasures make it so you don't hit as much. Don't get hit as much. I'm better off putting targeting on this. Where's targeting? Targeting tracking 2, 15. So this countermeasures 20. Yeah. Countermeasures 20 is better. Don't need anything else here because it's countermeasure V3, that's why. Small fighter bay just gives us four fighters. That's not going to do much. All right, let's go, Kiev Cruiser. You're amazing. You are amazing. You're big size. How's the destroyer? Maintenance 500. So it's a little more efficient to be running more cruisers than destroyers. Yeah, well, we'll let it happen. We will let it happen. Look at us. Just got civilian research. That was you guys, right? Yeah, you guys just did that. So that gave us a large mining ship, medium freighters, medium passenger ship, fuel tankers, exploration ships. That's amazing. Okay, let's uh, hit them again. With some more stealing. More stealing, please. Your espionage is 10. Doing great. Hit the Ravengers. And we'll steal something like... Attack fighters doesn't help us. Interceptors doesn't help us. Projectile battery. Ultra-efficient engines. Maybe? I think energy conversion will help us. So we'll do that. We'll do the same. Hey, Ravagers. Give us energy conversion. Yeah. Good old thievery. Much thievery happening. We're close. We're close. This is going to happen. How's my ship doing here? Go get fuel. Oh, you're going in to get fuel. Probably not a good idea. Can I just... Mm, oh, okay, you're going pretty fast. What we'll do is we'll uh, let this guy fuel up. And then, yeah, he can fuel up there. I think they'll let him fuel. Oh, no, the hive ship is back. Oh, you piece of crap. You piece of crap. Oh, man. You dirty... Okay, let's just get the money back from this base. This one, it's getting fixed, but it's going to get blown up. This thing's going to absolutely destroy it. I don't think we'll be able to defend. We'll, um... I'm just going to scrap this. And... We will disband the non-built troops. I'm not paying for them anymore. We'll see what he does. Hopefully he just runs. He's just gonna blow up all kinds of stuff. This is terrible. Which means that uh, we're probably gonna get attacked again unless this thing leaves. Can it just leave instead of continually attacking me? That would be ideal. And you... Um, you know what? I need you to get out of here. Get out of here. And I need this fleet. I need you to move over to here. I'm gonna go there and we're gonna hit this thing. And then bombard the planet. Are they jumping? Or are they just flying? I don't know what they're doing. Let's go faster. There's our enhanced construction. Got a new spaceport. 
which I should upgrade to immediately. Um, what's our spaceport? There's our spaceport V2. I think I have to do a new. If I go to state bases, spaceport V3, let's auto generate. Yeah, you are much bigger. You are <laughs> gigabase, gigabase, I'm going to say small gigabase, gigabase V1. Okay, small gigabase V1. Let's, um, you know what, I'm just going to clear all this stuff out. Clear all this junk out. I'm going gonna to do it right. Command center. Commerce center. Medical center. Recreation center. So those are the centers. Okay, you need a cargo bay. You'll need a fuel cell. You'll need... Remote fuel transfer. I don't think that will help you. Uh, it might. I don't know how big it is, though. Splinter pods, trip compartment, velocity drive. You don't need a regular fuel cell. Get out of here. You need probably an ion shield, but... Yeah, you need an ion shield. You need... I already have one of these. Mining engine would be nice. Cruise systems. Cruise systems. You need reactors. Do I have fusion reactors? Yeah, you probably need like three of them. You might even need four. Did I do a large cargo bay or do a normal cargo bay? Oops. This cargo bay versus that cargo bay. Large cargo bay better. Nope. I unclicked it. There you go. Large cargo bay. Okay. So that's that. Now we go to defenses and construction yards. Two construction yards, two fighters. Um, yeah. Yeah. You have no docking bays, do you? Well, I guess you have two docking bays because of construction yards. Um, long range. Increase of weapon damage is good. Targeting is good, too. Uh-huh. And then for shields, what do you got? Three shields, three armor? That's pretty good. Okay. Weapons. If I go latest per category, what does that give us? Concussion missiles, Thuon beams, torpedoes, railguns. I mean, take off everything. I think having probably a railgun on each side is probably a good idea. Probably having on beam. Oh, you need anti weapons. That's where your PD has to go. This like no PD. There's interceptor missiles for PD. This is terrible. I want sentinel beam PD. One there. One there. One there. Okay, what do I got left? About 100 points. Am I going to put the Thuon beams in? Or should I just put in missiles and stuff? You know what? It should be fighters. Yeah. Fighters will do. And then some missiles. Missiles. Concussion missiles. Sure. They can go literally anywhere. Oh, it's really one point too many, eh? Okay, I have 18 points left. What's a deal breaker beam? Whoa. 
It's a large deal breaker beam. What is this thing? Size 57. It's huge. I have no idea what it is. Damage fall off. Yeah. Speed's fast. What does this do? Is this a graviton beam? I don't know why I just got that. Not sure. Um, maybe some Maxwell's blasters? Yeah, I guess. Just gonna slap on a Maxwell's blaster here. There's nothing for eight. So I can go up to 18. Plasma torpedo. Well, I can put an Epsilon torpedo in instead of pl Maxwell's blaster. There you go. There you go. Congratulations, small gigabase. And then this other base will be obsolete. This one. So all of my bases now should get upgraded. If I click here. Yeah, everybody should start updating their bases like right away. This guy's under attack. Yeah. I was just wrecking the place. Uh, you're under attack. You're under attack. We're we're here. We're just we're doing things. I'm busy. Leave me alone, Hive. We'll just uh knock this down to one. Ooh, we got uh, multi-target management. Good job. Good job, boys. Get rid of all this. Go into our dudes. I know, you want me just to attack, but I'm going to forget to do this. Steal. Steal, steal, steal. What do we steal now? Mm, probably projectile battery. Ultra-efficient engines is what we'll steal now. Yeah. You might have a hard time. How's your... I guess 80% okay. Can go for monitoring stations. You can have a hard time too. But we'll give it a try. What can we go for? Proof fighters, fast missiles, enhanced area weapons, energy conversion. Extended troop transports. Just try and grab some tech from kind of everywhere. The Konish Consortium are doing work. Konish Council declared war on us. Yeah, how did I know that was going to happen? Mining stations under attack. Where? Oh, they have a station here. What does it have? Concussion missiles? What do we have? On our mining. Also concussion missiles. And a big old gun that can't hit them. So he can shoot missiles at us. We can kind of shoot missiles <laughs> at him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to make sure we're heavily defended on Glendathu here. We, we are. We are. We got lots. Lots of defense. Okay, just keep on staying defended then. And we'll uh, do the declare war on Silgis. This freighter's... Uh, one of our freighters is under attack in Silgis. And our mining station's under attack. So first fleet... First fleet, I would like you to... Um, these troop transports. Oh, they can actually capture this thing. Wouldn't that be an interesting day? What's your defense like? Border defense 460. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I just had an idea. We can go and... Guard move. Set attack point to the station. I think I just have to clear war on these guys first. Offer trady, declare war. Now we grab our dude. And we go. 
Prepare an attack. Attack. Capture. There it is. The battle and the timer all at the same time. Oh, wow. I'm doing it. I think we're the red. I think we're the red. The station is ours. We've boarded and captured it. Looted and destroyed it. Oh, okay. And... There's some passenger ships under attack. Destroyers under attack. Eskels under attack. Now we're gonna bombard. Yeah, just get some bombarding in here. We're gonna take some reputation hit. How bad's the reputation going down? Unjustified wars. Wow, we're bombarding pretty heavily. The ambassador has been killed in the orbital bombardment of NISP. What? He was off the planet. You got a new ambassador anyway. Okay, well. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I sent him to the Hakonish Council. I did. I transferred him there. How is he still on? Okay. Incoming fleet going to... It's coming here. Oh, the fleet is here. The third invasion fleet is here. So, I think... I mean, we're just bombarding. This is what we'll do. We'll, um... Stop the bombard. Set it to a blockade. And... Where's the evade button? Raid. I say attack. Will they drop their troops? Yes, they are dropping their troops. Drop the rest. 20,000 more. Let's go. We just got efficiency energy conversion too. Look at that. Oh my goodness. How's the invasion going? 7,000 versus? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Slow that down. Can't do our ambassador side. <laughs> um, this guy evaded detection and took the whole quantum engine tech. Amazing. Amazing. We're going to deal with that in the next episode. Our troop transports are taking a bit of a beating here. So they got to exit. But our destroyers, on the other hand... Yeah, I want them to get in there and attack these things. Who's their destroyer? Yeah, they're not as good as us, but we will take this. We will take this. Alright, so we'll finish this off in the next episode. I'll see you there.